mi bro. <laughs> Bringing you the review live with COVID. But fuck it, I am pushing through. Yo, it's long overdue and I need to get my thoughts out there. So uh, this is my thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077. What makes someone a criminal? Getting... There will become a point at the end of this, yeah? But until then, humor me because I have uh, things to say about this that I just need to get out there. Cyberpunk... 2077 was not an overhyped game. I see this all the time. Under every comment section, every review, everything. Bro, the reason why this game sucked is because gamers have crazy expectations. You are a brain that phantom mochen token. Fucking moron wrong. Then you're just an idiot if you don't know what, what games are capable of delivering. In my eyes, hype means expecting a game to deliver something incredible, visionary, to hit incredible highs. And Cyberpunk did that. It hit the highs, but it came with unsurmountable, ridiculously bad and unexpected low points. When you say you're hyped for something, you don't think, I can't wait for the cars not to be swallowed up by the ground. I can't wait for there to be a basic functioning wanted system, yo. Or I can't wait for the cops to literally just have the option to chase me in cars. And you don't think, I can't wait for the NPCs to work like they have an open world game for the past 20 years. That's not what you think when you get hyped for something. In short, we're not hyped for a game nailing the basic. We're hyped for it achieving and delivering incredible things. And Cyberpunk did that, man. It failed. Cyberpunk failed, that's right. It failed in delivering the basics. That's the important point right here. This is where Cyberpunk failed. Things we don't even get excited about because they're a given. If you're excited for GTA 6, shout out to the leak, you don't think, Yo, I can't wait for there to be cars in the game. Bro, of course there are gonna be cars in the game. Cyberpunk's foundation is broken and unfinished. To this day, in my eyes, half-assed afterthoughts, like the shitty-looking, horrible crafting system. Full diamond. Less is more. Remove that. Just cut it out of the game. And on top of that very shaky foundation, they build incredible things. So it wasn't overhyped in my eyes. Because Cyberpunk has things about it that are truly, absolutely incredible. Things that... I was hyped about, it delivered. For example, the world, bro, the city. I drive down the road, the city, the city, and I'm driving like, <laughs> and I look at these houses, bro, that are houses, man. And I look at the buildings and I, I was jaw, uh, uh, jaw dropped, awe inspired, insanity, beautiful, absolutely marvelous. No kizzy. There were moments when I started up that game for the first time and I was driving around the city. There's nothing I've ever felt that was quite like it. Just speechless. Honestly, speechless. I saw that city and I thought driving through the street of Night City is an, an unparalleled, unparalleled feeling. A city of this much visual cohesion, sheer creativity, beauty, created out of nothing. Incredible. It hit that high. I hope there's something I will play one day in my life that will make me feel remotely close to what I felt when I look at Night City. Truly. There's an incredible amount of content. Whether it's the quests, the size of the map, the details, the amount of random ass apartments you can go in, the verticality, the shit you can explore that has nothing to do with anything, just content. Pure content everywhere. Man, I remember I was exploring some shit, just walking around. Then I see this, this building, this Kung Tiao, yeah, the AC. Jump on the AC, jump into an apartment. What's in there? Nothing really. A couple of shit you can loot. But it's like, I can go in here. Obviously, they can't do the stuff that uh, Bethesda does in Skyrim and Oblivion and Fallout, where every door you can go into, that would be too crazy in a game like that. But they still put a lot of interiors in the game, and I always love interiors. Now, <coughs> From the cars to the buildings to the weapons, everything looks and feels modern. State of the art. The skill and leveling system, man, honestly, at this point, you know what we should mandate? Government, law, top down, bomb. The best skill systems or leveling up systems are the ones where you level up the skills by using them. Like in Skyrim, like in Oblivion, this is the best. You don't just get generic XP points, no. For using a skill, you level up that skill. I love that, it's addicting. Man, the first 20 hours of playing Cyberpunk, I was so in the zone. I was completely hooked, addicted, bop, down in my arse. <laughs> the combat is really awesome too. You have so many possibilities. The stealth works great. You have the, what is it, brain dance, uh, hack, hacking, basically like magic skills where you hack the enemies. It all works really well and I enjoyed it thoroughly. You meet so so many cool people and interesting characters in this city just as it's supposed to be a unique creative interesting place with some hot people shout out panam so man i don't know if i want to talk a lot about bugs gamers talking about bugs it always bugs me <laughs> 
<laughs> Good one. I rarely think bugs are a problem. I was shocked at how buggy this game is. Because shit will get fixed. I'm one of the hardcore gamers that played Fallout 3 on Xbox 360 when it came out. It was a broken fucking mess and still one of my favorite games of all time. So bugs are never the biggest issue for me. And it's gotten better, but still I have to say, after the first 20 hours of playing Cyberpunk when it came out, I started to realize I can't walk 10 feet in this game without something not happening the way it's supposed to. That is a bit of a problem. The biggest problems here are the... NPCs and the cops, the dynamicness of the world, because it's just not. Disaster, it's the biggest disappointment I've ever seen. The cop system, th there's no cop system. Cops spawn right behind you instantly when you commit a crime. And then they're like, yo, we have a patch. Now they instantly spawn 30 meters further away. What? Pathetic bullshit, embarrassing, disgusting, man. And also, cops can chase you. Get this in your fucking head. They haven't programmed that in there. <laughs> I saw some people, they're like, well, this is not GTA. I want to... You would have mangled these people, bro. If there's police in the game and a wanted system in the game, it has to work. You understand me? It's like every time you step into a car and it glitched through the ground and you're like, wow, I can't even drive cars in this game. Then you're like, well, this is need for speed. Fuck is wrong with you? If cops are in the game, then that system better work. And it just doesn't. Still to this day, it doesn't. Cops can't chase you, man. And don't start with them with mods. I don't, the game itself has to deliver that. Utter failure on CD Projekt Red's part. This stuff has worked in GTA 3, bro. Get real, but it, it gets worse. Dynamic NPCs. Red Dead Redemption pushed that obviously <laughs> to the next level. I don't expect a level like that, but NPCs behaving like in that game, not fighting back, not doing anything, not being creative. The world doesn't feel the slightest bit alive. They walk just back and forth. It's a shell. For an open world game, one of the most important things is that the world feels alive. Obviously, the, the highest bar here is Red Dead. This is worse than GTA 3, and that is just not acceptable for me. I think they just patched into that some NPCs now when you attack them, they will fight back, but bro. Put a flat down on a fucking problem. And there are also two more big problems, I think, that really keep me from enjoying the game a lot. First of all, I don't like the armor system. I think it's horrible. Hey, this white t-shirt has 20 armor. This tank top has 21 armor. What? what? You're just wearing clothing in this game. There's no armor. I honestly believe, no kizzy, this game would be better if they removed all armor values for your clothing. That is just cosmetic. Because it's bullshit. It just fucks up my immersion. I look like a fucking clown. And then they added the transmog feature, which makes everything worse in my eyes. I hate this bullshit. Anything can be and it's more I already talked about my Saints Row. It's bad. And then now, maybe my single biggest issue is Cyberpunk. And this is, a, a, I guess, something where I have changed a little bit as a gamer. I am so sick of loot spam. I'm sick of it. The beauty of Skyrim was that there was no loot spam. When you fought an enemy, you saw what they were wearing, and this is what they dropped. And if you had that same looking weapon, it had the same damage value. Every weapon existed uniquely. Do you understand what I mean? There's no, hey, this is the exact same looking armor, but its values are, are higher for no fucking reason at all. Doesn't exist. And I love that. And in Cyberpunk, after every encounter, running from enemy to enemy, looking at all of them have the same pistol as me. Now this one makes 200 to 210 damage, 211 to 212 damage. I hate it. I spent so much time this, in this game wasting my time. I don't enjoy that. In my inventory, having the same looking weapon, the same weapon 20 times and I have to compare the number. This weapon does 200, 201, 200. I feel like a fucking Schmeck, piece of schmegma. The UI is crazy because you have shit you can loot everywhere. Consumables, yeah? You have this consumable, that consumable. Everything has a different use and I have to go through my fucking inventory and look at what does this do? What does this do? What does this do? Assign it to hotspots. It's too much time wasted outside of the actual gameplay. Loot spam is one of my biggest issues these days with uh, RPGs. Seeing these thousand icons pop up at once. Bro, can I just play the game, man? Keep it simple. I think less would have been more, man. Make every weapon unique like in Skyrim. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on Cyberpunk, guys. Cyberpunk 2077's final rating is weird, you know, because in my eyes, uh, the final rating now reflects nothing about the game. I would give Cyberpunk 2077 a 7 out of 10. It's a good game, but nothing about the game is just good. Everything is either outstanding tight, 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 or yeah. embarrassingly oh. fucked up, and it averages out on a 7. These are my thoughts on Cyberpunk. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you soon. Uh, I still have COVID. I'm gonna pass out in a minute. See you in the next stream. Bye-bye.